Why Did Prophet Muhammad Marry Aisha the Young Girl Part 1 Part 1 Is the purpose criticizing the marriage of young girls or distorting the picture of Prophet Muhammad? Most of the Western people are astonished from the fact that the Prophet peace be upon him married Aisha who was just nine years old while he was fifty. Some of them even called such marriage as rape and some of them condemned it. Not only this, but some of them portrayed the Prophet of Islam peace be upon him as a man who is sexually suppressed and considered that as the real picture of Islam. They have ignored the fact that such marriage in such age and such era was a natural matter. Therefore it is clear that they are not criticizing the early marriage of a nine-year-old girl to a fifty-year-old man as much as they are keen to criticize and distort the picture of the Prophet of Islam peace be upon him and instigate others against him. Accordingly, this undermines their credibility and unveils their false human feelings and malicious intentions under the pretext of defending the rights of women. If they were really seeking denouncing such marriage, they should have spoken about such marriage as a general phenomenon which appeared before Islam and continued after it and would not focus their criticism on one person as if he was the one who invented such marriage or the first one who applied it or the only one who did it. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was born in a society in which early marriage was something ordinary and natural, therefore, he married the way others did. Moreover, his enemies, who tried to kill him, did not use such marriage as a pretext to distort his picture or instigate against him because it was an ordinary matter in such era. And they were themselves marrying girls in early ages. Part 2 If such marriage was strange, then why didn't the disbelievers of Quraysh use it as a pretext against Muhammad? Those people competed in writing about such marriage and ignored the similar cases in the era where Prophet Muhammad was living. Why didn't the people who criticized the Prophet for marrying Aisha criticize the disbelievers who fought Muhammad and tried to kill him? They have married girls in early ages and even preceded the Prophet peace be upon him in doing the same. So, if the intention of such criticizers is to criticize the relation between an old man and a young girl, they should have then spoken about the other similar cases which happened in the era of the Prophet peace be upon him. Part 3. Did they know the marriage age in Judaism? They should also focus on the stipulations of the Jewish religion which allowed marrying a girl of three years and one day old. The Old Testament narrated the story of the marriage of Ishak bin Ibrahim peace be upon them from Refka while she was just three years old. The Genesis mentioned that Ishak was born while Sarah was ninety years old. Then Abraham fell on his face and laughed, and said in his heart, Will a child be born to a man one hundred years old? And will Sarah? who is ninety years old, bear a child. Genesis 17 verse 17. Refka was born in the same year in which Sarah died, Bethuel became the father of Rebekah. Milcah bore these eight sons to Abraham's brother Nahor. His concubine in the next chapter thereof, the first paragraph, it is mentioned that Sarah lived to be a hundred and twenty-seven years old i.e. Ishak then was thirty-seven years old, and Refka was just a baby. When he attained forty years old and she attained three years, Ishak has married her. Refer to, and Isaac was forty years old when he married Rebekah daughter of Bethuel the Aramean from Padan Aram and sister of Laban the Aramean. Genesis 25 verse 20. Talmud itself allowed making such marriage relation although the girl was just a child, as stipulated in the following teachings. The 55th commandment of Sanhedrin stated, A maiden aged three years and a day may be acquired in marriage by coition. The 54th commandment of Talmud Sanhedrin stated, Pederasty with a child below nine years of age is not deemed as pederasty with a child above that. The 11th commandment of Talmud Kathaboth mentioned, The sexual intercourse between an adult man and a young girl is something ordinary. Moreover, Saeed Rabbi Joseph wrote, The girl who attains three years and one day can make sexual intercourse, J. Newsner, The Talmud of Babylonia, Volume XCI.B. Tractate Sanhedrin 1984, 150. See also Volume 19.A, Tractate Kiddushin 10AB, 1992, 33. Menstruating here of course refers to the ritual flux uncleanness described in Leviticus 15. Therefore, in Judaism, it is not a strange issue to make a sexual relationship with a girl of three years, so why they criticized Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him for marrying a nine-year-old girl. Part 4 Europe also allows marrying young girls. The marriage in early ages was prevailing in Europe itself. Especially the early marriage of kings and rulers in the 12th century for the purpose of creating alliances guaranteeing the continuity of peace. An example for that is the child Empress Anyas, in France, the wife of two Byzantine emperors, Emperor Alexios Kamanos II, and the Emperor Andronikos Kamanos I, respectively. 
According to William of Tyre, Anyas was just eight years old when she reached Constantine while Alexios was thirteen years old. William of Tyre, History of the Deeds Done Beyond the Sea, 13.4. P. Worth, One Word Kaiser Alexios II. Jeberin? Byzantinish Zeitschrift, 49, 1956, 65-67. Moreover, the wife of Alexios Kamanos I was twelve years old when she married and became an empress before attaining fifteen years. As for the empress of Byzantium Theodora the wife of Manuel, she was thirteen years old when she married the prince of Jerusalem Baldwin III. Moreover, Margaret Maria Hingaria married Isaac Anglos II when she was nine years. The age of Anus in such era was not something extraordinary. It was even a traditional matter that the new bride and bridegroom meet in Constantine, in the house of the spouse who has the higher social rank, one example being Anna Kamina, who was put into the care of her future mother-in-law, the dowager Empress Mary of Alania, before she was eight years old so she could be brought up with her fiancé Constantine, Anna Kamina. Alexiad 3.1.4, CF 2.5.1 for a further example. However, before Alexios completed the third year as an emperor, the cousin of his father Andronikos has appointed himself as an associate emperor, born in 1118. I.e. he was 65 years old, and then overthrew Alexios by force and married Ionas although there were about 50 years gap between them, Coniates, Historia, 275-276. This clearly demonstrates that the marriage of young girls to men over 60 years old was something usual in Europe among the governing class itself, so, what about the public then? Of course such kind of marriage was prevailing among the public in Europe itself after more than five centuries from the marriage of Muhammad peace be upon him and Aisha. Part 5. The Age of Consent in Most Countries Worldwide Apart from the European traditions in the medieval ages. If we look at the current era i.e. after fourteen centuries from the marriage of the Prophet peace be upon him from Aisha may Allah be pleased with her we will find that the Age of Consent is still early. In Various Places AVERT, an international charity organization interested in studying the HIV-AIDS diseases, having its headquarters in the United Kingdom, and works hard for preventing this disease in all countries worldwide. Mentioned a detailed table in its website about the age of consent worldwide i.e. the legal age of practicing the sexual intercourse worldwide or the age which is considered by the countries and governments acceptable for making a sexual relation. AVERT stated that the Japanese people can practice sex legally in the age of 13 year. In Argentine, it is allowed to practice sex in the age of 13. In Canada, until 1890, the allowed age of consent was 12 years. Tories moved to raise age of consent by Terry Weber, Globe and Mail, June 22, 2006. Similarly, the age of consent in Mexico is 12 years. In Panama and Philippine, the age of consent is 12 years. In Spain, specified by the Spanish Penal Code, Article 181, 2, Cyprus, Cyprus Penal Code, Article 154, South Korea, the age of consent is 13, while in Bolivia, the sexual age of consent is the maturity age, 8. If this is the case in the 21st century, why they deny it? All such cases took place after 14 centuries from the marriage of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and Aisha. You can also note that such countries which have several cultural backgrounds allowed practicing sex and e according to Article 308 of the Bolivian Penal Code early age. So, why some persons refuse respecting the traditions of a nation lived before 14 centuries? It is not possible or logical to force other nations to follow the Western or the American thinking concerning what is accepted or rejected. Especially before 14 centuries. According to the said table in the website of Avert Organization, the legal consent age is different from state to another inside America itself, for example, the sexual fitness age in Iowa, Missouri and South Carolina is 14 while the age of consent in Arizona, California, North Dakota, Oregon, Tennessee and Wisconsin is not less than 18. This means that it is not logical or reasonable to criticize the other nations on the ground of the difference between them and the West or America concerning the age of consent. The states of the United States themselves are different in determining this age, therefore, it is silly or illogical to criticize an early marriage took place before 14 centuries. It is worth mentioning here that several organizations in the West have objected to rice the age of consent. For example, in Canada, such organizations corresponded with the parliament members via internet and requested to reject this proposal and demonstrated the dangerous effects thereof, see. One of such letters mentioned. Dear Parliament Member. I write to you in order to express my attitude concerning the age of consent which was increased from 14 years to 16 years the proposal of increasing the age of consent is a backward 
dangerous movement and will make the young males and females practice sex illegally. If we return back to the legal age which qualifies the girl to accept or reject the sexual relation or marriage in America and the West, we will find that the age of 10 to 13 was the ideal acceptable age of consent in the mid of the 19th century, Waits, Matthew, 2005. The age of consent, young people, sexuality, and citizenship. Palgrave Macmillan. ISBN 1-4039-2173-3, page 7. Moreover, the Americans should know that the legal age of practicing sex was just 10 years in UK and America in 1885. I.e. just one year older than the age of Aisha when she married Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him before 13 centuries. Stephen Robertson wrote in this regard. In 1885, after the scandal which took place upon issuing the book of the maiden tribute of modern Babylon, the English writer Stead unveiled trading in the young girls in London. And these campaigns became part of the war launched against prostitution in the United States. This scandal urged the British Parliament to raise the age of consent from 10 to 16 and this attracted the attention of the American reformers to the law of their country, Stephen Robertson. Journal of Social History, Summer 2002 The Western and American people should know the campaign of the Christian Woman Association for Preventing Alcohol, WCTU 1885-1990, in increasing the age of consent. As it was in most of the American states, and after issuing the general law, the age of consent was determined as 10 years. While it was before seven years only in the state of Delaware, Linda R. Hirschman and Jane E. Larson, Hard Bargains, The Politics of Sex, Oxford University Press, 1998, pp. 124-133, ISBN 0-19-509664-9. The age of consent in one of the American states was just seven years, just 120 years ago. but the Western people did not know that and just criticized Islam and Muslims for the marriage of the Prophet peace be upon him and Aisha may Allah be pleased with her while she was nine years more than 1,400 years ago. Anyway, our modern age, at the beginning of the 21st century, witnessed several early marriage cases in Europe itself, for example, the legal marriage age in Romania is 16 years. The child Anna Maria, the Roma Gypsy Princess, 12 years old, married the child Barita Mihai, 15 years old. Roma King Florence Ioaba, the father of the bride, told the journalists. In fact, this is a happy day in the royal house, the best days of my life it is better for the children to marry in an early age. Fazil Unisco, from Roma Public Policy Center, stated, The marriage of the princess did not happen by force, she was the sweetheart of the king and he cannot act against her wishes. We should preserve our traditions in order to preserve our identity and being. Therefore, it is immoral to prohibit the traditions and norms, and no one can prohibit it. Dina Kuriakadu, The New Zealand Herald, October 1, 2003